I decided to put this video together uh, for everyone for a bit of a keepsake memories kind of thing. I hope you enjoy it as much as I've enjoyed making it. Close to $720 an hour industrial jobs are disappearing from Wallaceburg. And that news comes just three weeks before Christmas. Chrysler retendered their spring business and Oxford lost. They wanted cost reductions and they offered, you know, put in a cost reduction and if you're awarded that business, you take 100% of it. Unfortunately, we didn't get the 100%, so it's gone. Chip Gordon uh, represents Wallaceburg on Chatham-Kent Council. Retrofit, He'd like to see uh, a Navistar-style bailout for his town. Payroll. Whatever we can do, let's do it. It's a lot better to have people working than not working. And the investment from the province or the feds will certainly come back to them uh, in this location with those jobs. But Oxford says that that is not likely to work here. This is really driven by a total a lack of sales. Uh, there's been a significant migration away from the leaf spring that we manufacture. Meanwhile, it's likely to be a bleak Christmas for Wallaceburg retailers. Most have already stocked up for holiday sales, sales that now might not happen. As the company winds down operations, a joint government and company funded Oxford Employee Action Centre. Among the job seekers, Tyler Miller, who says after 20 years at Oxford, he's ready to make a change. There's mixed emotions, uh, the uncertainty. and The Adjustment Committee is setting up a variety of services. The Action Centre operates weekdays during normal business hours. Hey Tyler, would you like a clubhouse? <laughs> Hardest working individuals in all of Oxford Automotive. Well, I figured I'd better get it on film because nobody else would believe it. I wish you all the best and I want to thank you for the years that we spent together. Hey, uh, it was great work in Oxford. It was great work with all you guys. Uh, good luck in the future and uh, hopefully uh, we'll see you around, okay? Hello everybody, let's get a slice. Bye. I wish them all the best because they were the greatest bunch of people I ever worked with in my life. And I hope the very best for them all. Yeah. Yeah. Take care, guys. Well, best luck to everybody on their new jobs. Same. Hi, nice work with everybody. Take care. That's my little buddy. What do you bet? My buddy. Oh! oh. <laughs> Gee. oh. That was a good place to work. Yeah. Yeah. Bad, we're going away like that. Yeah. Hey, nice Oxford Automotive Workers, I want to wish you all the best for the future. And I hope 
to see you along the way. Hope you win the big the 49 or the Super Sub or something. It's been nice working with you all. Good luck to everybody. It's been nice to work with everybody. Yeah, I second that. Huge yes. Thank you. Well, I'll tell you, it's, it's been an experience being here with Mark. There you go. <laughs> I'll tell you, that's a one-in-a-lifetime opportunity. That's right. It's been great with Eaton and Oxford. It's been really nice, nice to know the uh, Wallsburg people, which we hadn't known as closely as we had before. I'm just finding out more so now that the girls actually have done a relatively good job of, of uh, spanking Mark towards the end. So. <laughs>
Over 600 people will lose their jobs here. The final shift change at Oxford Automotive in Wallaceburg. The sadness, eh? People are losing their jobs. Leaf springs for cars and trucks were produced here. The company says it had to close this plant because demand for leaf springs is sagging. Today, automakers are using more coil springs. However, union leaders say the job losses here are just further proof a new national auto policy is needed to offset the effects of free trade. Life after Oxford. Houses will be up for sale. Yeah. A lot of uh, people out of work. So, see you later, have a good life, and everybody moves on, right? President of Local 251. Uh, maybe you could just say a few things to, uh, to the people here at Oxford that uh, you've known over all these years. Bro, I know it's a pretty emotional day for a lot of people. It's a sad day for Wallsburg. It is a sad day for Wallsburg, but it's been a pleasure. Uh, representing the uh, people here in Oxford, uh, we've been through a lot of difficult times, and I, I'd say these people uh, work through this most difficult time uh, <clears throat> uh, quite courageously. And uh, I, I, one of the best most is uh, friendships and uh, relationships uh, with these people. Although some will continue, and <clears throat> as a course of nature, some tend to fade away, but the memories are still there. Take care. God bless. Bye bye. My little buddy. Where you been? My buddy. Oh. <laughs> Wave to everybody, Rose. Yeah, bye. <laughs>